Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, and I'm back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to get back into Red vs. Blue. For those of you who don't know, we've been on this journey for quite a while now. We went all the way back through the ones we had seen and have seen things we had never seen before. So now, we're getting into, uh, damn it. Season 15, episode 10, Battle Scars. That's it. I always forget the freaking one we're watching. But uh, as you guys know, we like to do about two or three episodes a piece. They're about 10 minutes, so a 30 minute stretch for you guys, so you have something decent. In length to watch if, if you want i guess and these don't get cut so I'll, I'll try to talk more and not be quiet too too often i mean i, I won't talk too much over it but i, I don't want to go like fucking all the whole fucking episode and not say a damn word damn i'm catching up i think there's only two more seasons Carolina. left oh yeah they're on a beach sorry must have spaced out any luck no sign of agent illinois it's been a couple weeks since i watched though. again unfortunately i fucked up Really takes you back, huh? Wow. Sure does. That's funny you that they do have look that cozy. There. Pretty sure I hit him for doing that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Since I hit him for left that. In a hurry. The only thing missing from the place is his armor. But where did he go? No note. Your guess is as good as mine. Their good call, call on finding him. Here, what do you remember about Agent Illinois? Agent Demolitions Illinois. expert. He wasn't top tier, but he was a crack shot with a rifle. I mean, out of armor. Oh, I never knew him. Illinois was always different. He wasn't ambitious or competitive like the rest of us. He didn't fight for an AI or screw over his friends to get placed higher in the rankings. Instead, he was doing a job and dreaming of the life after. Of an island chain that stretched around an entire planet. A shack by the water with a bar full of spiced rum and a tiny red sailboat. Oh, looks like you got it. He did it. And then I didn't yeah. realize you two were close. We weren't. He and York were drinking buddies, though. I heard all about it hanging out with him. Uh, York, huh? This must reopen some old wounds. I I'm sorry. Sometimes I think York was my chance at a fresh start. A little bit. I threw it down an elevator shaft. A little bit. Too hard on yourself. You've changed over the years. I've seen it myself. That's true. I've grown from being a dishonorable killing machine to an honorable killing machine. It's a big difference, That's hey. quite the journey. Well, it's never too late to start over again. Do you really believe that, David? Oh, wow, we get a name. Well, we did I don't know if Rock Singer is really in your future, but yeah. It was fun to watch them squirm, though, wasn't it? I changed my mind. You are evil. This is all I have left from York. Bloodstained lighter. Freelancer. Just this and my armor. You don't have to do that. What about starting over? I mean, you don't have to destroy the past to have a future. Take off your suit. What? I got an idea. Take it off. Okay, uh, that's a little forward. No, no, not like that. The recovery beacons, that's the key. Excuse me? Every suit that belonged to Project Freelancer was special. They all had recovery beacons in them so agents could be located if they were ever in distress. Personally, I didn't like the idea of walking around with an active tracking device. So you turned ours off, I remember. Well, maybe that's why we're still around. Whoever's been tracking down freelancers has a way of following the beacons. Nice. So we turn ours back on and lure the hunters here? Unless you have a better idea. Can't say I do. So? Her new visor's weird to me. Are you going to turn around? Ah, yes. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so who's chasing us? Some certified badasses? No. Oh, man, you are not going to believe Mercenaries? Nope. Space pirates? Dumber. Don't tell me. The reds and blues? It's twice as bad as that. It's twice as bad. Yes, large built robot versions of everyone. Guess again. I'd really rather not. Fine. 
Wash, Carolina, meet Temple, Surge, Loco, uh, Robo, SpaghettiO, Bucket, Bucky, whatever, and Donut 2.0. Washington, Carolina, it's an honor to meet you both. What the heck? Can you explain why there's two of everyone? They're from another gulch, that's why they look like us. Look, the whole story is long and complicated, and we need to get out of here ASAP. You really fucked up activating your beacon. That's how they're tracking us down. We were counting on it. We're luring them here. Well, lucky for you, we can do the same thing. Yeah, lucky. From our perspective, we set a trap, and you all fell in it. Well, your trap wouldn't have worked anyway. The UNSC has a nasty habit of nuking from orbit first, asking questions later. The UNSC? Oh, big surprise. You guys haven't figured out what's going on yet. Score another for Team Tucker. You have? And Church? He's alive. If you come with us, we'll explain everything. That's quite a story. Temple only left out the part where Sarge fell in love with himself, Wait, and Simmons a, realized he a, can't stand his own reflection. Fun? What about the reporter? Did she leave? Why no, she's around here somewhere. We've been keeping her on a don't-need-to-know basis. Can't trust the press these days. Why not? She seems there, perfectly better. trustworthy to me. Well, we don't, like, know what her agenda and stuff is. But, Tucker, she can get the real story out. She publicizes this insane plot by the UNSC to kill the ex-agents that- And Sim Troopers. We're people, too. If she can get the story out, it's game over. There's no easy way out of this. This ends with us taking the fight to those that would see us all dead. This ends in violence. What if it didn't have to? They killed your friends. They have church. And they need to be brought to justice. But what if for once it was in a courtroom or a court martial and not at the end of somebody's knife? Are you feeling all right? Our adversaries are too powerful. If we come at them now with just accusations, they're going to turtle up and ride it out. They're looking for us. They're poking their head out of their shell, and I aim to chop it the fuck off. Oh, yeah, boy. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Strategizing can wait until breakfast, at least. And breakfast is... fish. Oh, come on. Oh, sorry. Man, I'm going to puke if I eat one more fucking fish. Hey, it's not like there's any cows or chickens swimming around our underwater la base. <clears throat> anyway, uh, how about I give our guests the grip? I, I still don't trust these guys. Way too similar. Just through here. Sorry about the mess. You wanted to show us what? And he's uh, behind we just you. Gathered some relics from Project Freelancer. Uh huh. I thought you both would appreciate the collection. Oh, let me get the lights. Recognize anyone? Oh man, that's Agent Arizona's armor, isn't it? In it's Maryland. not just the armor. There's Alaska. Oh, I think you need to check your plumbing. That smell... That's not sewage. I don't think these are just suits of armor. Yep. What? That's... I can't believe they trusted them right you. away. Guilty. What did you do to them? Well, I killed them. I murdered them. I set my vengeance free upon them, and it felt so good. Yeah, not that surprising. But not half as good as this feels. Well, if it's a fight you want... Then I think we can't oblige. <laughs> There's something about the room. I could never best you in a fight. And anyway, don't they say that revenge is a dish best served frozen? Ugh. Ugh. My greatest fear is that you would know me, Carolina. That you'd recognize Illinois. my voice and the game would be up. Carolina, I can't... I can't move either. I'm locked. Uh, Probably should have gotten new armor. armor lock technology was salvaged from Project Freelancer. Fate is not without irony. And the past is not without its just dessert. That yarn about the UNSC? They're not really killing freelancers. Of course not. I am. Why? Because of what you did to us. For what she did most of all. The record for staying alive in this room, locked in your armor, is 8 days and 11 hours. I know you've always been the most competitive of the freelancers, Agent Carolina. That's so not that surprising. Do try to do better for me. 
the reds and blues will come looking. The reds and blues will be That's where they're wrong. They, they got plot finish. armor like a motherfucker. So long, Agent Washington. No! So long, Carolina. Yeah, why the, do they even trust them at all is beyond me. They just right off the bat, they're like, ah, fuck it, hop on the thing and go. Not to mention uh, or ask about the freelancer technology and the fact they had the freelance technology tracker. Why would they have that? You know the story of Jonah. It does ring a bell. Was that on the blacklist? The Bible, actually. Jonah was swallowed whole by a whale. Belly of the beast, huh? Sounds like this Bible ripped off aliens. I feel a bit like Jonah right now. But this whale has secrets. I don't know about you, but I am sick of being sidelined. Oh, are we gonna do some snooping around? No, I'm gonna do some snooping around. Aw, oh, come on. I can totally help. I don't know if you've noticed, but I am pretty good at randomly bumping into things that help move the plot forward. You have a more important job this Fucking time. Fucking fourth wall. I need you to distract someone while I have a look around. I think the blues and reds have Sarge spying on us. No! -uh! I mean, uh, I was just walking by. I didn't hear you say exactly what you said just now. See you later. Bye, gotta go. Woo! <laughs> I think you may be onto something. Really? Maybe. Hey there, Mr. Sarge. <laughs> Sarge, have you ever considered a life in show business? Ha! Huh, that's ridiculous. Show business is a young man's game. And I was an old man when your old man was a young man. Young man? Well, not necessarily. Uh, some people do get into it late. At the later. Well, despite my chiseled frame and iconic eyebrows, I am a soldier, not a movie star. You know, you remind me of R. Lee Ermey. He was a Marine, a real one like you. He was consulting on Full Metal Jacket and was so good that Kubrick cast him in the actual film right then and there. Really? Ain't that a wing dinger? I wing happen dear. to be writing a military drama myself. But if you're not interested, I can check with Serge. Apparently, he studied at Juilliard. Both! Now, don't you go putting words in my mouth. I didn't say I wasn't interested. Now, what exactly did you say this movie is about? It's a military court drama about a drill sergeant who has to defend himself in court after an accident during a drill gets his whole squad killed. Sounds fantastic. I've long fantasized about Griff dying horribly during routine training exercises. When can I see the script? Script? Of course. I, I mean, once you have the part, of course, of course, there's an audition first. It's like a screen test, you know, screen test, audition test, screen test, you can see in front of the camera test. All right, all right, I'll give it a shot. Personally, I always see myself playing the 30-something CEO of some exciting internet startup. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I don't stick to what you know. That's like, funny because that's who it is. I, I can't remember who voices right. it, but I think it's either Matt or it's one of the founders, I believe, of uh, Voices Sarge, and I can't remember who. I really wish I did remember. Well, also we're on episode 6, 11, Belly of the Beast. I should have mentioned that at the start of the episode. My bad. Damn, we got a lot of episodes to go, too. We, we're doing, like, a lot in a row right now. Excuses. I'm sick of them. Not as many as we used to do. We used to do the whole season, though. I know. So. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying. Try harder, fuckface. When will it be done? Oh, you know, soon. Soon. Yeah, soon. Soon. Probably. Probably. Hello. Probably. Probably. What the fuck, Loco? I've given you everything you've asked for. You said it would be ready months ago. Well, the quantum capacitors are working. The flux matrix is inverting the matter states, but I still can't get the neutron dispenser to polarize the antimatter and I'm out of delay batteries. Stop! I can't stand the fucking techno babble. But it why couldn't you just build me a huge freaking bomb like I asked? This is going to be so much better! It's going to be perfect! It's going to be big and beautiful, and you're going to love it! And we're going to be best friends, and it's going to be finished soon! Oh no. Or you are. Got it? It'll be finished, my de- Shh. She's already moved, this is classic. They're doing some movie trope stuff. Yes! It's you! Oh, you're in trouble now! I'm telling you, Tucker, I know what I heard. That's definitely not a cloaking device. Well, then what is it? I don't know. 
but it most definitely shows that they're not being honest with us. Maybe they just don't trust the press. I can't blame them there. I'm not some reality TV producer, okay? I promise I didn't leave that bounty hunter to you. Can we please bury the hatchet and just focus on what's important? They haven't given me one single reason not to trust them, Dylan. Then explain why they're keeping us in the dark about what's going on. They're not! Look, they left me in charge of planning the campaign against the UNSC. That's a video game. What? No! It's a tactic simulator! Look, advanced military stuff! That's a video game, Tucker. Huh. Starcraft, well, I guess it? that explains the microtransactions. They're distracting you. Where are Carolina and Wash? I heard they've joined up with us. They're out getting some grub. She told you that? Dibble did. You're seriously gonna tell me nothing about this place smells fishy to you? Of course it smells fish. fishy. Figuratively, Tucker. Figuratively fishy. Almost all the doors around here are locked. I can't find a single computer that's networked. If they were really being so open, why all the secrecy? I wouldn't want a bunch of random people running around my house either. They might steal God, shit. Or walk idiot. into my masturbatorium. Ugh. What if it's more than that? What if there's stuff they don't want us to see? You know, I don't need your help. I just thought you should know. Temple's office. What about it? He has a network computer. I've seen it. Bingo. Let me know what you find, all right? Of course. Okay, we ready? Sarge, did you got you the green the screen up of and everything. Of course I'm nervous. I mean, ready. I mean, of course I'm ready. Alrighty then. I will get in position. Wonder what he meant by choose. Oh, Lord. Remember, Ritz? No bastard ever won a war by dying for his country. He won the war by making the blue bastard die for his country. Now, should we win today? The 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but as the day the world stood up in one voice and said, You may take our lives, but you'll never take our truth. You want the truth? You can't handle <laughs> He's the just truth. Second place, That's you why I said choose. Place, martini. Shaken. He <laughs> just merged like eight Good. monologues that was together. Great take. Uh, He's dead, Jim. You're the wizard, Harry. You lucky yep. bloke. Say what now he's just doing fucking Lavisa, catchphrases, basically. Beard. This is my boomstick. How am I doing? I think we're losing the thread. Dance of the Wolves, City Slickers, Spinner, Laser Team 2. Now he's just Laser Team. Just titles, Sarge. <laughs> nice. And I'm pretty sure you made that last one up. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, did I get the part? Why don't we try some improv? I have a better idea. Where's the reporter? In her corner, sir! Wrong. They're empty. You, Shutterbug, tell me where she is. Have you gentlemen ever considered a life in show business? Uh, I, I, I don't know, I swear. Once again, they just got plot armor like a mother. That's a nice screensaver. <sighs> Vic. Vic. God damn it, Vic. Yo, 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 yo! V I C K, what is up, Chica Mosfina? Oh, Quiet. she took him with her. I need help. Ho, ho! Well, your wish is my command, Dudorino. This genie is popping off that bottle and ready to roll. What you need? Access to this computer. Can you hack in? Dunzo! Wait, little reminder, Dudette. You've got three little wishes before you've got to control Alt Libby off the face of reality. That was the deal. Yeah, yeah, I haven't forgotten. Yeah, and this is wish number, uh, uh, wish number, <laughs> seems like I got a little, uh, gap in the memory circuits, a little, uh, oh. eraser in the cabeza, huh? Uh, this is wish number... Wish number two. Right, <laughs> this is wish number dos. You promised, Doo Doo Dorito. I don't want to stand up my date to death. We're taking the river sticks to Disneyland. I'm doing shots with Anubis, dude. I'm playing Twister with the Reaper. Keep your voice down. Do you have a silent mode or something? Nope. As this that dude. works. Hey, six location. <laughs> you wouldn't get that if you're older. Unless you're older and been in the internet. What is it? What does that mean? <laughs> oh my god. Dylan! Oh no. Why am I not surprised? I think it's about time. We had a little chat. Brown. <laughs> All right, next episode, and then we're gonna take a small break because we've been reacting for like the last little bit over an hour or two. Uh, it's two hours actually because we didn't 
some big shows. Uh, episode 12. This will be the last one for this run, and it's blue versus red. I think we all know how it's going to end, though. Like, our reds versus blues have... Our Sir, reds and blues push. have... Oh, shoot back! Victory is close at hand! Their flag must be around here somewhere! But we're completely... But nothing! A soldier follows orders a, no matter a surge. what! You do what I tell you, son! Yes, sir! Gene. Okay, this is the other ones. It's It fucked me up because it's literally the same voice for that character. Turn fire, Cronut! With what? We're Cronut. out of ammo! I'm shooting blanks over here! In that case, we're gonna have to resort to Plan B. You suck! You're... You have table manners that leave much to be desired! You smell like maybe you forgot to wear deodorant today! Your mother's lasagna is mediocre! They're attempting to insult us, sir! Yeah, I fucking noticed. This ought to shut them up. Ooh, my turn! Let me try! Not happening, dude! Oh, come on! How come you always get the sniper right? Because you're busy getting the prisoner. Also because go fuck yourself! <laughs> That's the stereotypical Italian Mama music. Mia, they got Lorenzo. Quest unknown, this is my, my perfect Sunday. Perfetta. That's right. We got your fucking robot. Now give us back our base or we smash the Goomba. Whoa, dude. That is super racist. No, it isn't. It's pretty racist, dude. No, a Goomba, like in Mario. E encore, it's still racist. racist. Whatever. Everyone, shut up, or we're all going to find out what kind of filling is inside this cannoli. Ugh, not better. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Uh, ideas. Anybody? Ooh, I got one. If you guys had to get shot somewhere in your body, where would you do it? Not now, Biff. We're in the middle of a war. It's oh, a legit Biff. question, dudes. How about the pinky toe? That little piggy's had it coming for ages. Are you crazy? All the nerves in your whole body end in your toes, idiot. I want to take a bullet, not feel pain. Blue bastards have hidden their flag something fierce. Oh, and they have Lorenzo, Surge. Blast! We can't let them keep the robot. Oh, my I've God. I've all our top secret battle station plans in that droid. We'll have to hold out for reinforcements. How's our ammo? Griff didn't bring any ammo. Biff. Listen up, you dirty blue bastards. Red team is graciously and selfishly willing to open negotiations. Your base are belong to us. Surrender now and we'll spare your meaningless lives. Christ, this song again. Who's your negotiator? <laughs> Me! No deal. Your last two parlays ended with literal backstabbing. Send someone else. How about Biff? He's expendable if the talks break down. Yeah, whatever. The butt? Are you insane? That's right next to my Jingo Jingos, okay? Bullets, splinters. How about the arm? Arteries. Ooh, the ear. What? Yeah, I can't hear you because some idiot shot my ear off. No way! Uh, there's gotta be some part of the body that's expendable. You just need to get shot in the appendix. If only I was a book. Biff! Biff! That's Biff, funny. Hey, him lay in the back, okay? Was that supposed to be Pig Latin? Can you hurry it up, Temple? Preferably before they find my master Vittorium! I'm fucking done. Fuck this. Stop it, man. Stop what? You're staring at me. I'm not. R2. I know what you're thinking. No, you don't. This is all my fault. I didn't, look, I didn't say a thing. Well, you're right, okay? I'm guilty. Whoa, can we talk about this later? All right, everyone is staring at us. Fine. Uh, trade you a base for a robot. Yeah, dude. It was the same damn shit with the same damn idiots. They get a thing, we steal the thing, we get a tank, they blow it up. It's like living in a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon. We didn't know it yet, but all that was about to change. So my thing is, did they get the change because our Reds and Blues did stuff, or did they do something on their own? Oh, they got a freelancer. Who goes there? Uh, it's me. Oh no, Going he just looks patrol. really different no? in the night. You're talking to your best friend. What? Me! Oh, right, yeah, of course I am. Loco, why don't you get some sleep? <laughs> okay. Whatever. Leave me alone, Sky Puppet. Sky Puppet. <laughs> now what? Heads up. Holy fuck! 
Where the hell did you get one of these? Shore leave. Drink up, you damn dirty blue. So that's what they do. They just do you meet remember up. Pearson's class? Uh, uh they're Pearson. friends. Uh, I remember someone drawing dicks on my notebook okay. every time I went to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, and then he did those notebook checks. <laughs> the look on your stupid face. <laughs> Fucking asshole. What are you bringing that up for? Georgina was in that class. You know, that's that's when we met. I remember it took you two years to finally ask her out. And that was a fun day. Fun. Right. Yeah, you managed to unite the entire fucking cafeteria in a slow clutch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we should have joined the fucking Coast Guard. Yep. Mm -mm. I bet the Coast Guard doesn't divide its people into teams and have them shoot at each other with loaded assault rifles. Oh, they actually do. They just use harpoon guns instead. <laughs> what? So you two were friends. <laughs> you knew each other. Yeah, that's right. We grew up together. We enlisted together. Cool. Buddy team, they called it. Uh huh. Freelancer overlooked that fact when they assigned us to opposite teams in the same canyon. I mean, we found that fact out later. Was that at the freelancer? This isn't an interview, Dylan Andrews. Shut the fuck up and listen. The conversation inevitably turned to the same place it always did. Boney. You ever wonder what the fuck we're doing here? <laughs> like all the goddamn time. The way I see it, it's gotta be some super important government shit. Some, like, critical testing stuff. When we get out, there's gonna be medals, awards, fucking parades for us, dude. Yeah, that's for not you. how the... Ex not me, I'm getting out soon. Yeah? Yeah, medical discharge. For real? I'm not fucking with you. This whole situation is garbage enough to begin with, but at least we're in it together. We're in it against each other, if you haven't noticed. You know what I mean. <laughs> I would never do that to you. Damn. Red team had a shore leave a while back, and I snuck home back to Earth. When a wall stowed away on a transport. For real? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I had to see Georgina. Keeping the old flame alive. Wait, she hasn't moved on? No, dude. It's super serious between us. That's why I need to get back. I don't want to say you owe me one, but... <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm the only reason you're fucking here. Uh, you know, if I had frequent flyer miles for every one of your guilt trips, I could cover your entire ride back to Earth. So you're in? The way I see it, it's my job to shoot you anyway. Hey, they might give me a medal for this. That's a spirit, all right. So, brass tacks, my pinky finger, I need you to shoot it off, all right? I've thought about it a lot, and that's going to be my best bet. Done. I've been waiting to shoot you since we were kids. All right, not now. We need witnesses, reports and shit, all right? I'll need the pension when I get out. I could shoot you now for practice. Oh, good idea. I figured we could try a bunch of places and you can let me know what hurts the least. Brilliant. Semi or full auto? Riddle me with holes. Thank God I brought along those explosive rounds. Mm, what are friends for? The plan was simple. Interesting. Smith gets hurt, gets a medical discharge. First class ticket back home. What, do they kill him? But you know what they say. No plan survives first contact with the enemy. Oh, well, we gotta wait till next time. Damn, I like I left on a cliffhanger. All right, guys. Well, that was a really good episode. I'm uh I'm really enjoying it so far. I I wanted more from the the other reds and blues or blues and reds, whatever. And I, they're giving it, so I wanted some more into it. I still had suspected them after the uh after their whole spiel about the UNSC for a couple reasons. My biggest one re being that uh, they're just exactly like us, and that's just suspicious to me. That just literally is like if I saw somebody who looked just like me, I'd immediately distrust him. One, because he looks like me. Two, because I know myself. <laughs> so I'd immediately distrust him. <laughs> and uh, they were real trusty. I feel like they, they had it lax when they were um on break. So they've kind of like laxed down a bit, which is cool. I mean, it's a good display to show that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm really enjoying season 15 so far. Uh, We got a couple more episodes in us. Not like episodes of it but episodes of our reactions since we do three at a time we're gonna get another like three or four and we're gonna do another two after this but uh i'm gonna take a break uh because it's been a long day recording already and uh i really appreciate you guys special super shout out once again to our patrons uh matt stringer and mike waters you guys are the best you guys are the pinnacle 
the mountaintop, the tab, table, 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 the plateau. Sorry, I don't know why I wanted to say tableau. Tableau? Plateau? You are the plateau of human perfection and achievement. The utter outstanding immaculate. That's what you guys are, and I appreciate you. Uh, but uh, for everyone else, thank you for watching on YouTube. Hope you like, comment, you know, subscribe if you enjoy the videos we're watching and you like watching with me. If you don't like, you know, watching me, then I would suggest you not subscribe. It's probably better for both of us, right? Like, you don't want to get a bunch of bullshit that you don't want to see, right? And I just want to talk and hang out and chill with people who want to talk about this stuff, even if they're correcting me, right? Like, if you got to correct me on stuff or inform me of stuff, please do. But, like, if you don't enjoy watching, I, I would, I obviously, I always tell people, like, support the media you want to continue. So, thank you for the dudes who do support me. Obviously, my patrons do, and you guys are the awesomest. But for everybody else on YouTube, I also want to take a second, real second, and special shout you guys out. You guys don't know how much it means to me when I see the comments and, you know, you guys fill me in on the things I've missed or messed up on. And, you know, we get to talk about what we love about these shows. And if you really wanted to check them out with me, you can always come check out our discord uh where you can talk with me way more frequently unfortunately i'm only able to check comments like once every two weeks or once every week i can't i can't do comments every day unfortunately guys it just isn't possible with my schedule but the discord i basically do check every day because that's where we post the videos and everything so if you really wanted to talk or get a message across to me that's the place to do it with that said i hope you guys have a great one i'll see you next time on reactions with the next red versus blue man rooster teeth is great remember to support the original content creators almost forgot to say that but remember to do it if you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.